All right, in this tutorial today, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to delete uh, unused or disabled startup entries. And I'm sure most of you all know how to uh, disable startup entries. Just uncheck them, make sure they don't start up whenever you start up your computer. But some of you may be kind of OC like I am and just don't want a whole listing of blank startup entries here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to you can delete each one of these entries. Now, they have programs out there to do this, but um, I don't see the point of installing an application just to do a small task like this. Um, also, in this, I'm going to show you how to delete services that you don't need anymore, um, any that you've disabled. So, um, with our startup entries listed here, we can just left click on start, go to reg edit, and I'll put this up here. And let's go to the very. There we go. When to go to a local or H key local machine, expand that, and then from there go to software and expand that and from there go to Microsoft and share tools MS config and here in the startup reg folder we'll see all of the entries here now um, every single one of these um, you can find in other places in the registry, but the actual listing itself will be located here. So um, you can disable it by just deleting the startup entry altogether through the registry, but to actually delete the listing, you can just uh, select whichever one. I don't need any of these, so technically I can just delete every single one of these. Uh, delete this, delete this, delete this, delete that, delete that, delete that delete that delete that and they're gonna be either located in either one of these folders but um anyways once you've done that we can go and close out of our MS config and reopen it and probably probably help to type it correct there we go and here we go now we have a uh, clean slate no startup entries at all now as far as services go um, you never really want to disable services through the MS config tool. You want to actually go to the services the MSC, hit enter, and this will bring up a, a list of all the services. Now, um, it's still useful to list the services through MS config because you can just check this and basically see any that aren't associated with the operating system them itself, like any uh, Microsoft services. So we'll see these FlexNet, that's for Adobe, um, like Photoshop and so forth, Creative with OBI Sound Card. Steam client for gaming, NVIDIA, VMware agent for virtual desktops. But we can expand this right here. And we can, you know, you, I'm sure many of you already know how to um, alter the startup types, but these are all the ones I've disabled. Um, one thing I do recommend is check out this site. Let me open it up here. It's called blackviper.com. And this is basically a user that tests out every single service and operating system and um, just shows which ones can be disabled safely and he also gives a little bit more in-depth description than the uh, vague one provided by Windows so uh, that website one of the, once again is blackviper.com I suggest going there but I've already cross-referenced a few others and tested a few and um, have everything disabled that I want disabled so let's go down the list here in like faxing for instance I'm never gonna use faxing I don't need it on my computer and it's pointless to have a file on my computer that I'm never gonna use so what I can do is if I double click on this I'll see the uh, service name. Actually, I'll see the path of executable and the service name. So once again, I can open up services. MSC. Actually, not services. Reg edit. My bad. And we can go ahead and go to the root again. I want to go to H key local machine, and from here go to system, and then current control set, and from there go to services. And this is pretty much a listing of all the services you have and I don't really need this fax service listed in my services anymore I don't want to have to deal with it so I can look up fax there it is right there and I can simply just hit delete and delete that, that key now um, it's not going to show up first but I can just simply reboot my system and this will note this entry will no longer appear here um, if I relaunch services it'll show us invalid well, let me cancel out of this You find facts, facts, facts. Yeah, failed to read description. And I'm um, also like, what I can do is because there's still a, a file li lingering around. Like a lot of these, if you double click on them, you'll see. Uh, where is it at? 
you'll see an associated file type. Let me find a good one. Uh, Rexnet, for instance. See, so if, if one of these has an associated executable or DLL file, and um, technically I can go to this directory and delete that file too, since I won't need it. But anyways, once I reboot, this will no longer appear, and this will be cleared out. So I can easily clear out a lot of these disabled um, items. Now it's best not to do this for things you may eventually need, because once you delete it, it's, it's deleted. Um, so you only want to stick to the disabled uh, services, and also make sure it's one you'll never, you'll probably never need again. But that's how you delete um, services that are disabled and uh, lingering startup entries. So hope you enjoyed. Mushroom Hat Bangers, subscribe or, uh, uh, well, die.